welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. Today I'm going to do a little Q&A video because I love doing these like sit down videos, but I also have realized I've gained like a few new, new newbies around here. So I thought it'd be good if you're new to like get to know me a little bit more. Um, so I asked like friends, family on Instagram um, for some questions. So I'm going to answer them now. question is if you could live anywhere in the world right now where would you live now honestly I've changed my answer to this question about three times because I, I chose an answer and then I was like no 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 hang on because if I was I think right now if I in the world it actually would be still in the UK <laughs> UK um, it would definitely be by the sea so I think I'd go down to Cornwall and I would live there I'd take a list I'd take my family there to be honest because I couldn't be away from my family and I think I just love to live by the sea and be, be the seaside I think it I feel like it would be a really relaxed way of life and I find like when you go to the beach it's really relaxing isn't it so I'm thinking somewhere in Cornwall so if you're not from the from England um, Cornwall was basically quite a, um, a hot British staycation place. Um, it's, um, there's lots of coastal paths and walks and you're by the coast and um, by the seaside, lots of fish and chips and ice cream and all of that. And yeah, I feel like it would just be, just living by the sea would be nice and calm and relaxing. and and i just yeah i've loved it when i've been on holiday there so i think i'd i think i'd love i think i'd love to live in cornwall next question are you more of a country or city girl or a mix of both considering my last answer um i would say a bit of both i think it depends on um kind of the mood i guess because i've you know i've been to new york when i was 21 and i uh, absolutely loved it i loved the hustle and the bustle of the city i loved all the the like the bars um i do like it when i go to like london and meet up with friends in london um i like kind of exploring a city so i do like that aspect of it but i i do like the slower pace of the countryside um but, you know the walks the 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 nature the green greenness <laughs> Of a countryside so i i'd say i am definitely a bit of both probably more swinging to the countryside because that's where i live um and have been brought up in but i do like i do like to go and explore a city i do like to go to a city but i'd say i definitely am more of a more of a country girl number three what's my day job that i've been walking to Ah, so if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, come do come along. It's Amy Victoria Panther. So on Instagram, I've been really not, not on Instagram. In real life, I've been basically walking to work. Where I've moved into the flat now, it's about a twenty-minute walk to work, um, <clears throat> and I just love it. I put my podcast on. I walk. I get fresh air. I'm saving petrol, getting some sort of natural light onto my face first thing in the morning. So I do love walking. So that's what I've been doing. I'd say in the last couple of weeks, I've been walking more. But uh, my day job, <laughs> my profession, is I'm a primary school teacher. So I teach year one. So from when this, uh, we'll, we'll have been back for a week when this is um, live after being in lockdown for since January. Well, I mean, the third lockdown in January because it's been a bit of a disruptive year for everyone hasn't it so yes I am a primary school teacher number four what made me start my YouTube channel basically because I loved watching watching people's YouTube videos and it was something I really wanted to try now I started like gosh I must have started like maybe two years ago um when I was with 
Alyssa's dad um, and then I kind of didn't didn't continue it I just, like stopped it and then it wasn't until like August of this year I started up again because I just love the whole creative side of it like the th planning and thinking of what I'm going to film I love the filming like it's for me it's just sitting and chatting and I just love to I just love doing that and I like the whole editing it and learning and challenging myself and putting myself out of my comfort zone a bit with things I'm filming and to me it's like I've I've also gained lots of friends from it and um, I like engaging conversations with people about things and I, I just feel like yeah I just I guess I just wanted to do something that brought me joy and I'm I, I feel like been on my journey with me you know I just love doing things that bring me joy so yeah it's something I do because I just love it I don't want to say like I love being in front of the camera because I feel like that's quite vain it's not so much I love being in front of the camera I just I just love talking and I feel most confident and uncomfortable when talking to a camera like that sounds weird doesn't it <laughs> and or, another reason is like also like it passes the it's something, it's like a, I guess a hobby and a passion that I do and focus on when I haven't got Alyssa because it, I do find it harder to, if I didn't have Alyssa and especially during this lockdown when she's not with me and when she's with her dad, I don't know what I would be doing. I think I'd find it quite hard like with time where this just keeps me busy and, and I enjoy it. So number five, what are you most looking forward to after the restrictions are lifted in June? So in the UK, Boris has said that on the 21st of June, like basically lockdown, everything is lifted, restriction, there's no restriction. What am I most looking forward to? But I think for me, it's just being able to see family, um, see friends, be in the same room as friends, be in the same room as family without having to think am I allowed to do this? Am I, like, am I breaking a rule by doing this? And just being able to, you know, like, if Alyssa's with her dad, being able to say to a friend, do you want to go out for dinner this evening? When I've got Alyssa, being able to go to, like, soft play. I mean, I, I used to hate soft play, like, as in, I didn't find it a, a fun at all. But I just want to take Alyssa to soft play now. I want to do normal things with her, like, go to the zoo, go to go take a swimming like i feel like she hasn't really done much swimming in her i mean i know she's three but i feel like she hasn't done much swimming in her life i think ju just general like not like i don't i'm not massively needing a holiday or anything i think it's just being able i think for me it's being able to do things without feeling guilty or or questioning should i be doing them and just, yeah, just being able to go back to how life was before, basically. I mean, I've had the flats since December and I feel like I haven't even had like anyone around for dinner. Like I can't wait to host a dinner party. So yeah, I definitely think seeing much more friends and family and maybe being able to create memories with Alyssa because she's now like a little person. She's not like a little girl, any, um, the toddler anymore. She's a, like a little person and I feel like we can go on little like adventures for the day and like take her to like a travel lodge. <laughs> take her to like a travel lodge which is like a, a hotel just for a night and just have like a real girly time and yeah like the simple things for me and I, I, but I feel like that's like that's the same for everyone I feel like we've all learned that actually all you need in life is those simple things so I think I feel like we've all become so much more grateful for life and I think so when most people go back to normal, when these restrictions are lifted, I feel like it's just people are just going to want to do those simple things. And finally, number six, what would be your dream plans for your 30th birthday? Yes, guys, I'm 30 this year. I'm actually, do you know what? I'm really excited to turn 30. Like, I'm super excited to turn 30. I feel like it's a like a turning point for me. I feel like the, this last year and a half, I've really, like, learned a lot about myself, during, like, during the lockdown period as well. I feel like, yeah, I'm ready for my 30s now. I feel like they're going to be good years. 
<laughs> but I'm, 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 do you know what? What I'm most looking forward to, what my dream plans would be is, without sounding diva, diva-ish, I really would love like a whole month of celebrations. And I'm not talking like massive parties. I'm just talking about like meal, like a really nice meal, like cocktail making, like with some friends and a meal out with family and going away with maybe my mom and um, having like a big sort of like get together with all my family and just like loads of little things um, with like my different different friendships and different family members and yeah just to make that month really special and it would be really nice to do something special with like Alyssa as well like like I said like go to a hotel and it'd just be me and her because yeah <laughs> I'm such an <laughs> this lockdown has made me really emotional yeah just because she she's my sorry I don't even know <laughs> Yeah, because she's my little sidekick and I feel like I want to like go into my 30s with her by my side. <laughs> I quite on the last sit down video as well. I just want to like do something special with her, even though she probably won't sleep in a hotel and it'd be an absolute nightmare. But you know, <laughs> do something special with Alyssa, um, do something special with friends and and do something special with family but also like make so just be like that my 30th birthday was amazing and to have a whole month of like celebrations to just make it really special because i feel like when you turn 30 that's a quite a big um part like that's a massive turning point like it's a massive birthday like i've turned 30 <laughs> I like i'm so excited but i still can't think i like i still feel like 18 so so those were the, the questions and there were my answers though thank you so much for if you sent in a question i really do appreciate it and yeah i do appreciate every like and every subscribe and like i said earlier i just love doing this so i don't really like to me i'll just keep keep doing it like because i enjoy doing it i'm not I, yeah it's nice to have like more people come along but I just genuinely enjoy doing this. If you're here, you're here. If you're not, you're not. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you can. That'd be lovely. I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye.